Marlene, are we on? Hey, welcome back. Right, today I'm going to talk to you about chopping boards. Um, we make chopping boards with all sorts of different things on, and while we're at um, the Works of the Festival, a lady bought a chopping board like this, which is a board to put out for Santa. And she ran me up a few days later and said, how do I take care of my board? And I thought, well, if she's asking, probably lots of other people are wondering the same thing. So today I'm going to show you how to look after one of these. This is made from a hardwood, a beech, and actually you could leave it just as it is. You can um, just clean it with a, like a rag, not a rag really, <laughs> a bit of cloth with soap and water. Okay, do not put them in the dishwasher or uh, give it a bath. Don't like, let it float in the sink. It won't really like that very much. The grain will swell up and they can split. Um, but if you want to, you can oil it. So this one is in its naked state. So this is just as it comes. It's been sanded and engraved. Um, we engrave our products quite deeply, so it's quite dark. Okay. However, you can oil it. And if you oil it, if I put this one on the top, okay, you can see the um, the wood's darker. Okay. And all we use is vegetable oil. Okay. So that way, you can actually do that at home. No problem. You don't have to buy any special stuff. Uh, and what we do is show you how to do that now. So, first of all, just make sure that the the product is nicely sanded. So just uh, take it, put it on something flat, and just give it a little sand all the way around. That shouldn't take you too long. So if you have got any marks on there, when you oil it, the marks will be cut, sort of sealed in. You don't really want that to happen. I've got my trousers. Probably not really good, is it? But seems to do the job. Right, there we go. So that's nice and sanded. Right, the next thing is applying the oil. Now, it might be a bit tricky to see, but this one has got a couple of oil spots on it where an oiled board has touched a naked board okay so I'm going to oil this one now so make it a nice even color so I'm going to put it onto a, a bit of card and I'm going to take my vegetable oil and I'm just going to pour a bit of vegetable oil in the middle of the board like so and it will start spreading out everywhere and then something that you'll find at home just a bit of kitchen roll I'm going to fold that over a couple of times and now I'm going to just spread it around. Okay. I want that oil to go all over the board. And then I'm going to leave it a minute just to soak in. And do the edges as well. If you have a little look at it in the light, and you'll see it should all of it should be shiny. So if there's a little bit that isn't shiny, then that's that bit needs a bit more. So go back and add a bit more to it. So what I'll do now is I'll just put that on the side there for about three minutes, four minutes, and leave it, and then I'm going to come back and buff it off. Okay. Okay, let's have a look, see how, how she's getting on. So if I hold it up to the light. I can see now that some of that oil is soaked in because um, it's not shiny anymore. So it's, I'll probably give that another minute and that should be okay. Um, now once you've oiled your board, obviously it depends a little bit on how often you use it. Um, but you know you can reapply the oil if it's looking a bit tired. You can sand it down but you don't have to, it's up to you. Um, and then just repeat the process and that will just keep your board um, happier for longer. Um, plus the, a good advantage actually for using the vegetable oil um, everyone's got it in the cupboard because uh, they cook with it which of course makes it food safe so you're not putting any nasty chemicals in your body hello right final bit then so the board's now ready for buffing okay so we're just going to vigorously polish it really and get rid of any excess oil um, I, I rub it around in a circle and then to finish off, go up and down the grain, up and down the lines and the wood, okay? Need a bit of elbow grease for this bit. I'm still actually using the same bit of uh, kitchen roll that I was using before. Just fold it over a few times. Right, so the front there is looking rather nice. I'm just going to go around the edges. 
I'll just give you a little look so now you can see here's the board and it's looking very very nice and clean uh, and what I would do now is just leave it for a couple of minutes and then just repeat the process on the other side so that's how we at Shop Reddish take care of our boards